Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to multiply x squared times x squared minus 3. And to do this, we're just going to apply the distributive property, which is basically saying I need to multiply x squared times x squared as well as x squared times negative 3. Now, the difficult part when it kind of comes to this is um, you know, using our rules of exponents. So basically what I have is x squared times x squared. And then um, plus, the reason why I'm adding that is because that's a positive x squared. So positive x squared, because if I didn't, then you know, here we don't need to write the positive, right? We already, which shows it's positive. But when we're writing it between two terms, we got to make sure we write that. Otherwise, there would be no operation there. Times um, a negative 3. Now, when multiplying, when multiplying um, exponents, what we do is we just add the powers. So this becomes x to 2 plus 2 plus here, now you could say, well, there's no x over here. Well, we can write an x. We can say x to the 0. Any, th any number raised to the 0 power is 1. So therefore, this would basically look like negative 3, because you multiply the coefficients. Well, remember, this coefficient can be 1. So it's basically ne negative 3 times 1 times x to the 2 plus 0. Well, x2 plus 2 is x to the 4th plus, and actually not plus anymore, well, it's plus a negative 3 x squared. Well, rather than writing x to the fourth plus a negative, you will usually just write to write x to the fourth minus 3x squared. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you apply the distributive property um, with a monomial to a binomial. Thanks.